Hello, welcome to Get Your Mind On. I'm Lori Stose. It's my favorite time of year, the time of giving. Well, hopefully we've been giving throughout the whole year, but this time of year, it seems extraordinarily special because it's the holiday season. I opened up my mailbox after Thanksgiving and, and realized I had all these opportunities to give. I got all these flyers in the mail for some of these um, organizations that I'd love to support throughout the year and even more at this time of the year. So when we think about giving, is it overwhelming to you? Do you think about December and get excited about it? Well, giving is very much, very important to all of us, but we really have to understand what is our intent of giving. What's your intention and what's your plan for giving? Now, I remember years ago, I used to have this spreadsheet that I'd have on my computer and I'd have everybody who I was getting uh, gifts for and, you know, it was pages with tabs and what I'd gotten them and how much I spent and what my budget was, which was all great because I had an intention, I had a budget to stick to, and I really wanted to stay to that. Now I look at that a little bit differently. I think that's all important for us to think about what are the gifts that we're giving, But we really have to think about what does that mean for us and what does that mean for our intention of what we want to give to others. I've decided this year I'm going to do something a little bit different because I'm blessed through the year. So I'm going to get rid of some of the things that I do every day in December and use that money to give back to others. So it's those little frivolous things that I probably don't need, like stop stopping maybe at Starbucks or, um, you know, even some of I told my trainer, I said, sorry for December, I'm going to train on my own because I'm going to take that money and give it to a family. So that's what I've decided to do. And you just have to find something that's good for you and that aligns to who you are and what your values are. So I think it's really important to sit down and have that conversation with your family to think about what is giving, what is giving. It's not always money. It might be money, it might be time, it might just be something meaningful. And when we think about those kinds of things, sometimes it is the gifts, right? Because we feel that it is Christmas and we love to buy and we hit all those sales and, and uh, got, got things that are, mean, are meaningful for people. That, that is important. But secondly, I think time is important. And sometimes we think we don't have enough time. Well, sometimes we don't have the funds. So when we think about time, what can we give? What can we do to others? Can we go serve at a soup house? Or can we go um, serve um, and wrap presents for um, fundraising? Some of those kinds of things. Can we do some volunteering at our church for uh, some of those types of activities that they do for um, taking care of kids? Whatever it might be. And finally, when I think about also giving, the third thing is really giving to yourself. There's so much hustle and bustle around us in our in our uh, month with everything going on, the extra um, parties and maybe the extra activities and kids programs and those kinds of things, which are all the reason for the season. But really, I want you to think about yourself. What are you giving to you? Maybe it's just that 10 minutes every day that you pause, the 10 minutes that you sit in silence, the 10 minutes that you can grab earlier in the morning before everybody else is up to really think about what are you giving for you. For positive charge this week, what is your giving intention? And two, how does it align with your values? The season of giving is here and you have the opportunity to give in the way you'd like to give. Take the time to think about what's meaningful for you and also make sure you take some time for yourself so you can be the best that you can be when you're giving to others. Thanks for joining us today and remember to get your mind on.